If you're a complete beginner in a call center travel account, this video is for you. I will explain the job description, the basic structure of the travel industry, and the common issues you're going to be encountering on a daily basis. So the customer are obviously the life of the business. They're the ones who buy the services. They're the travelers. Now, vendors, on the other hand, are businesses that sell travel services. They are hotels, airlines, tour companies, car rental companies, and travel insurance companies. With these two parties alone, it's already possible for the travel industry to function technically. But then there is a third party that makes the transactions even more seamless and more convenient. And that third party is the travel agencies. Think of travel agencies as the mediator between customers and direct vendors. They are not exactly necessary, but they make the process more seamless and easier for both parties. For example, I'm a customer and I want to travel. Without travel agencies, I would have to book the hotel, the flight tickets, the car rental and tours separately. Now with a travel agency, I could book all of those things in one place and I could have plenty of selections from different vendors. So it does save you the hassle of having to book from multiple vendors. Another function of a travel agency is if you're not an experienced traveler and you don't know what to look for, employing travel agencies could be the best solution for you because they know the best hotels, the best flight, the best tours for your requirements. And the most common reason why travelers book from travel agencies is because of the lower prices. And that's because travel agencies buy from direct vendors in bulk at a special rate. That's how they keep their prices low. So if you're a travel account CSR, chances are you're gonna be working for direct vendors or travel agencies. So if you're working for a travel agency, here are the examples of companies that you're gonna be working for. So as you can see, some of these travel agencies offer a wide variety of services like booking.com, for example. It offers flights, hotels, car rentals, tours, airport, taxi, while Airbnb only offers accommodations. So whether you work for a travel agency or a direct vendor, the types of issues that you're gonna be encountering on a daily basis are quite similar, and they're the following. Hi, there's been an emergency and I need to change the date of my flight. Can you do that for me real quick? Hi, I just want to make sure that we have the correct requirements to enter the country. And um, you said that there would be no passport needed. Is that right? Someone from your company told me that I would get a 50% discount, but you charged me the full amount. What's going on? Hi, I'd like to know if the hotel you booked for me is wheelchair accessible. I'm asking because my uncle is handicapped. And we would also need to have a window. The lady I spoke with was rude to me. She told me that I was being unreasonable when she was the one who sold my room to another guest. This is not what I paid for. I need you to do something about this. But if you're working for a travel agency, you're probably going to be doing more, which is calling companies, calling direct vendors in behalf of the customers. Listen to this mock call between four parties, the customer, travel agency, hotel, and airline. Hi, thank you for calling Question Travel and Tours. This is Candace. How may I assist you today? Yes, Candace. Listen, I'm a little tense here. Uh, so the airline all of a sudden rescheduled my flight to tomorrow. It's supposed to be today at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I sure booked the flight for a reason. I have an important dinner meeting this evening. So any flight after 3 p.m. is useless to me. I need the soonest available flight today. Today, not tomorrow. And that's not all. I have a non-refundable hotel reservation. So you tell me, what do I do now? Because I'm in a tight spot here. I'm so sorry for the experience. I will do my best to help you with this as soon as possible. Uh, why don't we start with your flight booking and then we'll go over your hotel reservation afterward. Okay, please. It's an important dinner meeting mm -hmm. for work. I cannot miss it. I booked it so early, and now this? I understand the urgency of your concern. Uh, my top priority right now is to get you the earliest flight possible before 3 p.m., as you said. Uh, I'll check the options we have here for you. Uh, may I have your name and flight booking? My name is Tabitha Ratched. Flight booking number is KLM for Mercy, 
359. Thank you, Tabitha. Uh, allow me a few minutes to go over your records here. One moment. Let me see. I need the next flight today before 3 p.m. Nothing later than that, okay? I understand. Let me just pull up your records here. And upon checking here, we can only reissue tickets for the next day's flight on my end, but I can go ahead and call U.S. Pacific Airline for you. I will explain the situation you're in and check if there are available seats for the next flight today. Uh, may I put you on hold for three to five minutes while I talk to them? Okay, I'll wait. You have to fix this. I will try my best. I'll be right back. Please hold. Okay. Thank you for calling U.S. Pacific Airlines. This is David. How can I help? Hi, this is Candace from Question Travel and Tours. I'm calling for a mutual customer, Tabitha Ratched, and her flight booking is KLM 359. Uh, her flight is set for today at 9 a.m., but I'm seeing your airline has moved it to tomorrow. And I have her on the other other line and she's in a tight spot right now she has an important work-related meeting later today and she has a non-refundable hotel booking also affected by the change so is it possible to move her flight to the next flight today okay give me one moment i'll check it for you sure Yes, our apologies. Mm -hmm. There were some delays due to maintenance, so we moved all the passengers from her flight to tomorrow. Okay. Now, the good news is the maintenance was finished earlier than expected, so there will only be a slight delay. Let me see if we have an available seat for her on the next flight. Oh, that One would moment. be perfect. Thank you. Sure thing. Thanks for waiting. Mm hmm so there are a few more seats available for the next flight today at 1 p.m. This is the earliest available, and we can move her to this one. Sounds great. Let's move her to that flight then. Okay, I will. And for documentation purposes, may I have your last name and your designation? David Smith, passenger okay. service agent. All right. Thank you so much for your help, David. That's all I need. You're welcome, Candace. Thank you for calling U.S. Pacific Airlines. Bye. Thanks for waiting, Tabitha. Mm -hmm. So I was able to speak with a UPA agent and I'm pleased to inform you that there are seats available today for the next flight. Uh, that's going to be at 1 p.m. How does that sound? Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's perfect. I really need to fly today, you know. I thought I could never make it. You're welcome. Um, fortunately, the maintenance finished earlier than expected, so there was only a slight delay after all. Oh, that's really fantastic. Thank you. Now, I guess I don't have to worry about my hotel reservation, right? Since uh, I'm not going to be missing the flight. Mm -hmm. Now, for your hotel reservation, since you're going to be arriving on the same day but later than expected, I will contact the property so you will not be tagged as no-show. May I have your itinerary number? Oh, good idea. It is, let's see, H08945. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm checking it right now. Let me. Okay, so the room type, as you said, is non refundable and is subject to penalty in case of cancellation and no show. You will still be since you will still be arriving today at the property. I will be I will call them just to inform them so they will not tag you as no show. Just to make sure. Oh sure, please do. I don't want to lose that room. Thank you. Okay, I'll be needing to put you on hold again while I call the property. Please allow three to five minutes. Okay. Thank you. Good morning, Estrella at Casino del Sol. Hi, good morning. My name is Candace from Question Travel and Tours. I'm calling for Tabitha Ratched, one of our mutual clients. Uh, her booking confirmation number is H08945. Okay. Mm, did you say her name is Tabitha Ratched? Yes. 
All right. Okay, I have her reservation up. How may I help? Uh, so Tabitha's flight was delayed. Instead of 9 a.m., she will be arriving at your property a few hours later after her new flight schedule, which which is now set at 1 p.m. Uh, I'm just calling to inform you that so that she will not be tagged as no-show. I see. Okay, hold on one moment. I'm going to update our records. Mm -hmm. All right, I have made a notation here and we will not be tagging her as no-show. Great, thank you. Uh, for documentation purposes, may I have your name and position? Emma Blatchford, front oh. manager here. Okay. All right, got it. Thank you for the help, Emma. That is all I need for today. Bye. You're always welcome. Thank you for calling Casino Dos Do. Hi, Tabitha. Thanks for waiting. Sure. Mm -hmm. So Casino Del Sol has been informed that you'll be arriving late for your reservation due to an airline change schedule and that you'll still be arriving on the same day. So I won't have any problem checking in, right? Def no, definitely not. Nothing to worry about. You will not be tagged as no-show as they have already been informed. That is wonderful. Thank you so much, Candace. You have no idea how relieved I am right now. It's my pleasure to help. Will there be anything else that I can help you with today? No, nope, I'm all good for now. You've been very helpful. I'm glad I was able to help you today. Thank you Thank you for choosing Question Travel and Tours. Have a great day, Tabitha. Bye. Bye. That's it. As you can see, everything went well with that call. Um, no fuss, no refusals. Um, there was a problem, but it was solved because all the conditions were ideal. But what if it doesn't go the customer's way? What if the airline takes longer than expected to maintain the aircraft? Well, that's going to be in my next video. And once that's ready, I'm going to link that call up here. So in that, in that call, everything that could possibly go wrong for Tabitha Ratched, the customer, went wrong. And we're going to see how the agent would handle it. So once that's ready again... It's up here or in the description below. So this call will show you how to handle unreasonable requests from unreasonable customers. So it's going to be the same issue with a different outcome because after all, we have to personalize our responses based on the customer's demands and situation. So stay tuned. And again, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions and requests, go right ahead, leave a comment. Bye.